lovelies and welcome back to a brand new video. So the plan for now is that I just finished my work day and I have so many things I want to do today. As always, I just feel like I have an endless to-do list, but it's okay. I'm going to start by making a to-do list and then we can start checking them off one by one. But welcome back to a brand new video. I have a super girly outfit today. I have these flower clips on my hair as well as flower earrings. I put extra amount of blush on to match with the outfit. And then I also have this light pink shirt with white and pink gingham print. It's super nice. I thought it would be perfect for springtime. And I actually love these kind of linen shirts because they really go with every outfit and you can throw them on if you're a little bit cold and when you're too warm you can take it off so it's perfect layering piece but yes that's the outfit for today Okay, I have quite a few bits and I just labeled it as spring to-do list because I think I'm not going to finish these in one weekend. So the first one is organize makeup in new filming room, turn the soil in the garden beds, raking in the garden and I also need to buy a rake because I don't have one, bake spring loaf or spring bites. I want to bake something yummy for the weekend but let's see what I come up with. Set up a new computer screen. Buy two big plant pots for front steps. Buy spring florals for the patio. DIY the pot, I need to finish it. What I started in the last vlog. Research trees in the garden. We want to plant some beautiful trees and we're thinking of magnolia or cherry trees. Uh, paint guest bedroom, paint office two walls with top coat and plant broccoli and cucumber. So let's start checking them off one by one. Okay, it's time to do the office reveal and this is not ready yet. I'm gonna add some stuff and we also need to paint a few walls white but I'm just gonna show you what I've done now. Oh my goodness, I'm completely and utterly in love with my office. I also got the new screen from my workplace. So I put this small rug here temporarily until I find a bigger one. And also this teddy poof. I think I'm gonna put here a big chair when I find the perfect one. And also I have this new throw here that I'm gonna open soon. I love to work with the throw in the mornings when it's cold. Now it's getting warmer though, but you can never have too many throws. So this is how it looks far away. And I love the clouds. It's just my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I was going to DIY these, but when I found them on the website, I was, <laughs> I was completely, completely obsessed. So highly recommend those and those would be very nice in a nursery as well if you have a cloud theme for your baby. But this is like telling me you're a cloud engineer without telling me you're a cloud engineer because I have clouds there and then when you come on the desk I have a <laughs> cloud wrist rest as well and this is cloud theme. I'm a little bit obsessed, you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, let's head on in and see what I have where. So this is the overview of the desk. Then I have this wooden screen riser and this is actually from Lidl, maybe a year ago, I think. But you can find this in Amazon and in many different places. But in there I have my, you have a piece of my heart tissues. I have the AWS sticker. 
it's not going with the theme now so I'm just gonna <laughs> cover it then I have my MacBook I bought this small spray bottle for the screen cleaner spray then I have a pop socket my pencil case hair clips and the cloud little cloud opener thingy then I have my pens and my scissors I have a candle it's my own creation passion fruit scent I love it for the summer then I have the wooden clock and then some nail polishes in the bubble in the bubble vase I have this old Vogue magazine and also more notebooks <laughs> I'm very organized person so i like to have a lot of planning things and then i have this weekly planner here and then my mouse coaster and a wrist rest then i just have my chair and actually the curtain work that was here from the previous owners it broke i already had curtains here but i need to buy a new one so that's why it looks a little bit bare from there but I'm actually so happy how this turned out so much better than I could have ever imagined and now I feel like this will be my happy place to work here every day we just went to the shops and I bought the new curtain rod because as I told you this is a little bit a work in progress still because uh, the other one broke and there's some fillings on the wall there and we need to paint this one white so this is only the part one of the office makeover but i will show you when we continue this room i'm waiting for my husband to come home i think he will be here soon hey now i can stand in my clouds <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna change my clothes and head in the garden sadly it's been sunny the whole day but now it's cloudy every time i finish work and then i usually eat a small snack because in this house we've noticed that we actually eat dinner quite late because we have so many things to do after work so i usually eat a snack after i finish work and then i start all my projects so now that i've finished it it's cloudy <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm not mad at it because it, it was so beautiful in the morning when the sun came, came through the woods. And actually now when you can see how the sun and the light comes into this land that we bought, it's actually super nice. And they said that the sun will shine almost from the morning to the evening in this, in this uh, land the whole day. But we haven't witnessed anything yet because we've just been living here, I think, soon, two and a half months. So it's so nice to see that the sun actually shines. When I woke up 7.30, it was already shining through the trees and it was so magical. We have the hill up there that I think I've shown you already. And it's so, so magical. And... Um, and also we have like three different layers in our garden so the lowest layer had already sunshine in the morning with the greenhouse so i think it would be the perfect place for our for our vegetables and flowers and everything like that but yeah i don't have a specific plan now i just know that i want to go there do some gardening bits there's so many leaves fallen from last autumn and it was under the snow so I want to want to brush it out and make all the beds nice and also all the ground nice looking so I think that's what I'm gonna do tidy up the yard a little bit and then we're gonna eat some yummy dinner and enjoy the rest of the day and tomorrow is Friday which I'm so excited about and we <laughs> And no surprise here, but we have a lot of plans to buy some house bits and bobs. But of course, I will take you guys along with us. So let's see where the day takes us. Okay, so my task is to 
turn the soil a little bit and make it ready for the bulbs and also the little seedlings. So I'm gonna do this bed and then I haven't had time to actually look at everything. So I'm just going to go around the garden and see what grows where. And it's so nice because the sun started to shine and I'm actually quite hot. I have good gear on and I really want to see what do we have in here. So the one thing I noticed is that these are strawberries. You can see the new ones already coming up. We just need to clean the bed and then and then I also noticed that we have raspberries, which I'm super excited about. So I think all of these tree bushes are raspberries. So, so at least on the berry section, I think we're good. Strawberries and raspberries are my favorite. And then we have three of those big bushes there, which I think might be red berries, but we'll see. And also, all of the trees here, I'm not sure what they are, so we just need to wait and see when the bulbs open and we can see what kind of leaves they have. Because at least there's these two trees, so this one here and also that one. I think I remember that one of them was apple tree and then maybe a cherry tree but there's also one up there one up there two over there and then one here so i'm not sure but we will see it later but i'm so excited because everything is a surprise what they have here so super super excited and i also find it super fascinating when these come to life and we can see what they are And beside the stairs, we have that tree over there. And then I love this kind of like, a, I don't know what to call it. Maybe like a pine. And then I also want to see what these beds look like in the summer. But there is the one tree there, two trees there, one up here. And then this one looks completely completely dead now but I think it will start to bloom when the sun shines more and this side we have the little trees and then I think I want to plant some flowers alongside here so let's see what I come up with but this is looking like this and then on the upper part we have this bigger tree here and also the one tree there and I have no idea what they are either but this one I love I don't know what it's called but it's super nice here it's really cool oh my goodness I just can't believe that this is our home and my soul is resting looking at this view it's everything I ever dreamed of and even more now you can really see how big the terrace is I think I have already a plan set what we're gonna put where so I think I can show you now so I think we want some sun beds and also a sunshade here beside the swimming pool and then here I'm thinking to have the 
dining setup because I think this is the perfect view to watch the field over there and also the whole yard. So I think probably here would be perfect. And then when you come here, I think here might be a very good place for a sofa set. And here we have already this like a uh, storage bench. So this one opens up and then the jacuzzi. So I think this one, we're just gonna put some, some seating cushions here and then maybe an outside rug and nice lanterns and some flower pots. That's my plan for this one. And this is how it looks from here. So, so freaking excited. So my plan is to do this bed now and I'm just gonna empty the dead roots and take them away and then after I'm finished with this like cleaning project I'm just starting from here but I think I will do it the next couple of weeks then we're gonna take them away and put them in the compost or in a garden compost so yeah let's start the cleaning process for our garden. Oh my goodness, I'm hot because the sun is shining directly here and I actually have a little bit too much clothes on, I think. But yeah, so I think I made a good progress here. So that bed is turned and, and in this one I just took out all the dead roots and there's something growing here which I think it might be rhubarb, but it has very big roots. So I'm just gonna leave it and I think we're gonna see with my husband what we do with that. Either we're gonna move it somewhere or just take it away. Because I don't think we eat that much rhubarb. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm so hot. You can see the glow on my face. But I think now I'm just gonna go around the garden and see everything for the first time. Because the snow has melted so much yesterday and today during the work day. So let's see what we have where and where do i want to put everything i'm just gonna make a brief plan and then later on we can adjust the plan according to what we like but let's see let's see what we have here okay so i also noticed that they have herb bed here so they have rosemary and i think there's some mint coming from there some parsley there and I think I have the similar plan so I think I can actually keep this one as an herb bed I just need to <laughs> clean it but I'm gonna save that job for tomorrow because today I just want to admire the garden <laughs> so it's very nice that they already have an herb bed that I can continue to grow and evolve and this one I'm not sure what this one has it just looks like a bunch of weeds at the moment, but there's something growing underneath. I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna clear this one out as well as... Well, this one is almost, almost emptied already. I'm just gonna take the stand away and then use this for something else. And also something I'm thinking is this layout. So I would prefer the future greenhouse to be facing this way and then have the beds sideways uh, and have a little path in the middle and then have the beds in either side and I think we could use a few beds more here but I think we're gonna do it later but just an idea that I wanted to throw out there what do you guys think I think it would make much more sense to have it that way so I can face 
the field because that's my favorite view and also when you come from the stairs because the stairs are right there when you come from there you could easily just walk through here from the back and then the greenhouse would be facing this way but just throwing it out there but yeah just let me know what you guys think and i thought that i could do a proper garden tour when everything has melted and you can see the trees and everything what they are so let me know if you're interested to see that good morning so we just finished eating breakfast today my husband made us eggs and bacon so nice and now i'm gonna start building the tv stand my husband is washing the car and also then he starts to paint the ceilings so we decided to paint the ceilings first so everything comes becomes brighter and then we start moving on to the walls the next walls <laughs> so now let's build the tv stand okay so i have the box here in the living room let's open it up and see what we are working with okay so let's start to build the tv stand and first i'm super excited about these to see what the doors look like so these are the doors for the tv stand and it's the latviken style and the wooden oak color so let's open this up So this is the color we went for and it's a really nice natural oak color. I think this will soften and also warm up the space a lot more because we have the white walls now. I love them. Oh my goodness. So happy with those. And I don't know about you guys but I have a love-hate relationship with IKEA furniture building. Sometimes it goes smoothly and other times it goes not so smoothly so let's see how this goes especially now that i'm doing this alone but yeah let's try our best okay so i laid everything out and i found the instructions they were just under this one but let's see what is the first first step for us Okay, so I almost finished it. We just need the doors and then the finishing touches. But now we're gonna go to sauna because <laughs> we've been working the whole morning and day. And then we're gonna eat and then continue with this later on. I'm starting to cook one of our favorite dinners, which is tomato, pepper and goat cheese soup. So let's start to prepare it. So first I just cut the onion. I'm gonna put some olive oil here and then put the onion there then chop up the tomatoes the pepper and put the spices and then i also use this kind of spicy chili sauce and when it's done i usually let it simmer for about 30 minutes then i add the goat cheese spices herbs and make some bread and then we enjoy <laughs> We're chilling. <laughs> Here's the pie. Here's the pie. Boop, 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 boop,